Thank you for joining us tonight. The 11 year old girl shot in the head yesterday will be taken off of life support tomorrow morning. Madeline O'Neill joins us from American Family Children's Hospital after an emotional press conference with friends and family to share their message. Maddie. Well, the community is really hurting after this, especially those who knew and loved 11 year old Anissa Scott. Tomorrow at 11 11 a.m. chosen by her parents by the date she was shot and how many years they had with her here. Anissa will be taken off of life support, but family members hope she's remembered for long after that. My baby. After a tragedy like this. My baby. Words are hard to come by. Anissa was a, an amazing basketball player, an amazing friend, and she will never be forgotten. There's plenty to say about 11 year old Anissa's love for life. Sweet, sweet baby. Text me every morning. Good morning, Grandma. But when it comes to her losing her life, this was a beautiful young girl who loved life and y'all robbed her of it it gets harder and my grandbaby <laughs> will take her wings she gonna always be remembered and never forgotten and i love you with all my heart baby <laughs> and one day we'll meet again Sometimes when it feels like there are no words. She will continue to live through all of us. That's when it's most important to listen. And we need to end the, the violence, the gang violence. Yes. We have lost a precious child that we can never get back. It could have been anyone else's child. It happened to be ours. Our kids, these babies deserve to live. And to the folks who are out there pulling these triggers, um, we have to reach out to these young people. This should not have ever, ever happened. We're learning Anissa's mom, who works in health care, will be taking off some time to support her family during all of this. The Boys and Girls Club of Dane County is asking community members to support the family by donating to a fundraiser that has already raised more than $30,000. We do have that link on our website. Madeline O'Neill reporting live tonight. Maddie, thank you.